Hi Capricorn, welcome. Let's jump right in and see what's going on here with you today. All right, um, this is a general reading, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer uh, same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. I'm gonna shuffle all the cards out first and I'll tell you what I see here for you, Capricorn. Capricorn, so it looks like here that, um, well, you basically kind of start out in a few ways here, either uncomfortable, um, unhappy, bored, stuck, miserable with something or someone, like you've settled. Um, you end up getting some research and study to figure out and get some information to figure out what it is you can do in the situation, and that causes a lot of problems for you, in a sense, because it makes you just want to ignore it and, I guess, get worse, um, get more addicted, get more deceptive, get more toxic in your life. Um, and just keep doing those things that you know you're doing. So, you know, whatever. It looks like it's something that you're not willing to change or reflect one bit about yourself or your life or anything. And instead you want to consider some options about what it is you want to do, which has, uh, looks like here, based on those options, um, you're starting to kind of go cold and not really, it's like you're trying to be neutral, but you're also kind of going cold and getting frustrated and irritated. You're trying to keep your cool in the situation. It looks like here that it's made you realize you're not having fun, you're not happy with yourself, with something that you do, or with a person, or there's not much love there any longer. It looks like it's helped you make a decision on something, but so you know the choice. It looks like here though, unfortunately, it's caused you to not want to truly emotionally walk away from a person or situation going on in your life. Instead, you end up seeking counseling, wisdom, knowledge, or information to figure out what it is you can do, or you just kind of being, spending some time alone to get some answers. That has caused you to, I don't know if you got, it makes you want to get in a fight, an argument with someone, unfortunately, um, or you're just really pissed off, frustrated, or still holding a grudge from your last reading. I don't know. Uh, that's caused you to now to get a little spooked and put your walls up and put some boundaries up and get guarded um, and defensive. 
um, you know, from a relationship completely different outside of you, like a couple outside of you that you may know, may not know, or the marriage or relationship that you are in, um, or you've made your choice about something or someone, or maybe a friend. Regardless, right after that, now you want to, I guess, start drama, compete, argue, fight, or you're fighting yourself and battling yourself. Either or. It looks like though for you, it's a journey. You're happy. It's great. You took a leap of faith to start some problems. And then it looks like you're actually the one that's anxious and stressed out and confused and going through it. But then all of a sudden you're very happy and you get what you want. And then you're back to being emotionally unhappy about who you are, money, wealth, business status, marriage, relationship. It's not enough. They're not enough. The love isn't enough. Nothing's enough for you, unfortunately. There's a sense of greed possibly for some of you here, or it's just more so like you're just not having it with your position, power, money, wealth, status. Don't know. Some of you, if you're females, you might feel like your last hope is just trapping who you're in a, actually it doesn't matter, marriage or relationship or man or female. Um, maybe you feel like a baby would save everything. I don't know. So there's that. You might be trying to trap your person, some of you here. All right, let's see some see more here. So it looks like here you're going to end up moving backwards instead of forwards. There's a lot of baggage and toxicity that you're choosing to hang on to instead of release it. Um, looks like you're not stressing though. You're not losing sleep on it. So it's whatever for you. But it's causing you to no longer feel emotionally connected to something or someone. You're starting to lose feelings for something or someone. Which then, you know, it's a few things here. Either you're not going to... Um, those of you in a marriage or relationship, um, you might be cheating or you just don't want to be faithful or committed to your person anymore. Or, um, you know, you're not trusting your intuition when you know the truth already. Some of you, though, uh, you could be, you choose to sign a contract that, well, it's, mm, it's pretty toxic. Mm, some of you literally made a deal with the devil. I'll just be honest. Whatever. That's your life. Um, others of you, it's more so, um, you know, you it's either you are in the industry and you are controlled <laughs> sorry or you uh control either or i don't know which side you're on you know you're, you're a scouter you scout talent or you are the talent either or don't know um regardless or it's your own spiritual or religious path and or political path whatever it is it's like you know you're not meant to be doing it you don't care for it but you're stuck in it so whatever it is here all i see is that no matter what you are meant to be going through all of this so that's good news for you, I'm sure. All right, that's what I have for you. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, bye.